Hola, buenos días amigos y bienvenidos a clase número 16. Y hoy vamos a aprender cómo decir la hora, la hora. Pero primero vamos a revisar un poquito. ¿Cómo se dice en español? ¿Cómo se dice en español? Uh, what do you want? Pero una cuestión formal, formal. ¿Qué quiere usted? What do you want? Formal question. ¿Cómo se dice I want? Quiero. ¿Y cómo se dice red wine? Vino tinto. Entonces, ¿cómo se dice I want red wine? Se dice quiero vino tinto. Como se dice, I want a red apple. Quiero una manzana roja. Y finalmente, ¿cómo se dice garlic? Garlic en español es ajo, ajo. Muy bien. Y continuamos. ¿Cómo se dice esta lista de vocabulario esencial en inglés, por favor, en inglés? Um, tenéis dos minutos. Muy bien. Y listos en uno, dos y tres. Ok, check your answers. Y ahora, ¿cómo se dice estas palabras en inglés, por favor? Cinco minutos. Vamos. Y tus respuestas en A, B, C. And check your answers again, please. Y ahora, por favor, pon estas palabras en el buen orden, en orden. A ver, vamos a ver. Hola. Me gustaría una mesa para cuatro. Hello, I'd like a table for four. Y ahora pon estas palabras en el orden Correcto. Venga. Muy bien. Vamos a ver. Tráeme, bring me, una carta, bring me a menu. Por favor, please. Perfecto. Continuamos. Y pon estas palabras en el buen orden. Vamos a ver. De, primero, for starters, quiero, I want, una ensalada, a salad, ah, una ensalada rusa, a Russian salad, muy bien, y continuamos, vamos a ver, de, segundo, so for second or for main course, quiero, I want, pollo frito, fried chicken, con, with, verduras, vegetables. Muy bien. Y continuamos. Vamos. De postre, soy for dessert, quiero, I want. Helado de chocolate, so chocolate ice cream. Y, and, fruta tropical, tropical fruit. Uno más. Y listos en uno, dos, Tres. Vamos. So, para beber, to drink, quiero, I want, zumo de naranja, orange juice. Y, and, una botella de, a bottle of, vino blanco, white wine, oh, de la casa. So, that would be um, house white wine. Muy bien. Y, finalmente... Y vamos a ver. Ok. Tráeme, bring me. La cuenta, the bill. Por favor, please. Muy bien hecho. Right, so we're going to learn to tell the time in Spanish today. And eventually we're going to sort of draw on what we've learned about food and drink so far over the last few lessons, incorporating the time. So have a look at the board. Um, what do you think the question, que 
hora es means que hora es okay so that's your question meaning what time is it hora actually means hour as well so it's a bit like saying what hour is it and how do you think you would go about saying it's five o'clock Okay, that's probably an easy one to guess. Son las cinco. Son las cinco. What about it's one o'clock? Es la una. And it's two o'clock? Son las dos. So the first thing you'll notice is that in Spanish when they tell the time, and they say es la una, it's one o'clock, they don't say uh, a clock. They just say it is the one. Now, it's feminine because it refers back to the word Hora, meaning hour or time, which is feminine noun, okay? Um, however, as soon as you go past one o'clock, because one is obviously a singular um, number, it's a singular noun, la una, uh, you have to use uh, plurals. So we're going to literally say they are two, they are three, they are four, they are five o'clock, okay? So son las dos, son las cinco, son las doce, and so on. So I repeat. When you say one o'clock, you've got to say es la una. It's all singular. The minute you go above the number one, so two, three, four, five, and so on, you're going to say son las plus your number. It's kind of simple, I think, in Spanish. I hope you think so. Right, so let's have a quick look at this column. Uh, que hora es? So what time is it? Um, which letter means it's three o'clock? So that would be C, C, son las tres. What about it's one o'clock? A es la una. What about it's five o'clock? E son las cinco. It's four o'clock. D son las cuatro. How about it's midnight? G Es media noche. And finally, finalmente, it's midday. F es medio día. And at this stage, I just want to point out to you the difference between these two columns. So here we're saying what time is it? It is, and then so on. Whereas this column was saying at what time? And that will be followed by a verb. For example, do you eat? Or at what time do you drink? At what time does the film start? At what time does the shop close? And so on. So whilst we're not going to focus on this today, I do want to uh, show you the difference between them. So you start with your verb. For example, I eat. Or you could say I go. Or the shop opens. And then instead of saying it is, of course, we're going to say at. So rather than it is one o'clock, we're going to say I eat at one o'clock, a la una, okay? So the only difference is making sure we've got the word at, and you can see that um, featuring all the way through those sentences. We're going to come back to that later, though. Vamos, como se dice en español, it is one o'clock. Es la una. Como se dice en español, it is eight o'clock. Son las ocho. Como se dice, it's five o'clock. Son las cinco. It is ten o'clock. Son las diez. It's eleven o'clock. Son las once. It's one o'clock. Es la una. It's seven o'clock. Son las siete. Um, a watch or a clock. Un reloj. It's midnight. Es media noche. It's 12 o'clock. Son las doce. Muy bien. Okay, let's up the level a little bit. Um, you do need to think about Spanish word order here and a rhythm and a pattern that's slightly different to English. So we've learned how to say it's one o'clock, two o'clock and so on. That's fine. Um, but what about if you wanted to say it's five past one or ten past one and so on? Now in Spanish, uh, it's quite simple actually. It's just saying it's one o'clock and five. So five past one Again, think about the word order and the rhythm. It is one and five. If I wanted to say it's ten past one, it is one and ten. It's twenty past one, it is one and twenty. So you say the hour and then you add the word and and however many minutes past the hour it is. I could equally say um, for 150, uh, it is one and fifty, okay? 
Right, so it's like on that you think of. So we're adding on um, how many minutes past the hour it is. Don't forget though, once you get to two o'clock, we're gonna change from es la una to son las dos, and likewise for the rest of the numbers, son, 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 las, las, las. But we keep adding however many minutes it is past the hour. So here we've got it's two and 10, it's 10 past two. Here we've got it's three and 15, it's 15 minutes past three. It's four and 20, it's 20 minutes past four and so on. Venga, como se dice en español, it is 6.30. Son las seis y treinta. It is 10 past two. Son las dos y diez. It is five past one. Es la una y cinco. It is 8.40. Son las ocho y cuarenta. It's 10.50. Son las diez y cincuenta. Uh, let's do one more. It's 11.55. Son las once y cincuenta y cinco. So it's 11.55. Muy bien. Behold, some fractions for you. Because, you know, in English we also say it's quarter past one, half past one, quarter to one, and so on. How would you go about doing that in Spanish? Um, well, if we were going to say it's a quarter past three, we're going to stick to our rhythm, our pattern of it's three, son las tres, and a quarter. Okay, son las tres y cuarto. Be careful not to confuse cuarto with Cuatro, that's four, that's a quarter, okay? If I wanted to say it's a quarter past two, I'd say son las dos y cuarto. It's a quarter past one, es la una y cuarto. To say half past, exactly the same structure, only you're going to obviously exchange quarter for half, which is media. So it's half past six, son las seis y media. It's half past seven, son las siete y media. It's half eight, son las ocho y media. I'd say the trickiest one is when you say a quarter to, whatever the hour is. Uh, the example here is it's nine minus a quarter, so that is our way of saying it's quarter to nine. Nine minus a quarter. If I wanted to say it's a quarter to 10, the structure in English will be it's 10 minus a quarter. So I'd say son las diez menos cuarto. It's a quarter to one. We'd say it's one minus a quarter. Es la una menos cuarto. How about if you wanted to say something like it's five to 12? Well, we would use the structure, it's 12 minus 5. So, son las doce menos cinco. It's 12 minus 5. If you wanted to say it's 10 to 12, son las doce menos diez. 10 minutes, uh, 12 minus the 10 minutes. Um, what about it's 20 to 12? We're going to say 12 minus 20. Son las doce menos 20. Right, let's see how much of that you have retained. So, uh, written activity for you now, please. So, if you could make a note of these times in Spanish and just say what they mean in English. So, the example, ejemplo, es la una, it is one o'clock. Off you go. Okay, let's see how you got on. So, number one, it's seven o'clock. Number two, it's four o'clock. Number three, it's five past one. Remember, it is one and five. Number four, it is a quarter past one. It is one and a quarter. Number five, um, oh, it is one and four. I nearly tripped myself up then. So it's four minutes past one. Um, so don't forget, cuarto is your quarter, cuatro is four. Number six, it is two and five, so it's five past two. Number seven, it's 12 o'clock. Number eight, it's midnight. Number nine, it's eight and a half, so it's half past eight. And finally, number 10, it is 11 and 20. It's 20 past 11. Okay, red task, let's up the level just a little bit. Again, if you could write those out in Spanish and then the corresponding English meanings, please. Come back to you shortly, hasta luego. 
Right, let's see how you got on with that one. So number one, it's seven and 10, it's 10 past seven. Number two, it is one and 20, it is 20 past one. Number three, it is two and 25, it's 25 past two. Number four, it's nine and a half, so it's 9.30. Number five, um, it's five and 35, so it's 5.35. Or you could say it's 25 to six. Number six, uh, 11 minus a quarter, it's quarter to 11. Number seven, 10 and 40, so it's 10.40, or you could say 20 to 11. Uh, number eight, eight minus a quarter, so it's quarter to eight. Number nine, nine minus 10, therefore it's 10 to nine. And finally, number 10, 11 minus 25, it's 25 to 11. Okay, it's listening activity time. Everyone's favorite, hurrah. Uh, escuchad la hora y escribí la respuesta correcta. So listen to the time and write down the correct answer, the correct response. So the example would be, I say, son las dos, and you would write, it's two o'clock. Okay, so make a note of the numbers one to 10. Don't worry about this for now. And I'm gonna read out the times for you. Venga, vamos. Número uno. Son las cuatro. Son las cuatro. Número dos. Es la una. Es la una. Número tres. Son las cinco. Son las cinco. Número cuatro. Son las siete. Son las siete. Número cinco. Son las diez. Son las diez. Número seis. Son las nueve. Son las nueve. Número siete. Es media noche. Es media noche. Número ocho. Son las ocho. Son las ocho. Número nueve. Es medio día. Es medio día. Y finalmente, número diez. Son las seis y media. Son las seis y media. Okay, and now we're going to move on to A to K. These are going to be a little bit more tricky. Okay, A. Ah. Es la una y cuarto. Es la una y cuarto. B. Son las dos y cuarto. Son las dos y cuarto. C. Son las cuatro y cinco. Son las cuatro y cinco. D. Son las seis y diez. Son las seis y diez. E. Son las ocho y media. Son las ocho y media. F. Son las once y media. Son las once y media. G. Es la una y veinte. Es la una y veinte. H. Son las nueve y veinticinco. Son las nueve y veinticinco. I. Son las diez y diez. Son las diez y diez. J. Son las ocho menos cuarto. Son las ocho menos cuarto. Y finalmente, K son, perdón, es la una menos diez. Es la una menos diez. Vamos, ok, have a look through and see how you got on. Any that you're not sure of, you could always replay those particular questions. Listen again. Right, and this time I'd like you to write those 10 times for me in Spanish. And I'll come back to you with the answer shortly. Buena suerte. Y listos en uno, dos, tres. Okay, let's see how you got on. So, have a look through, check your answers. And behold the red task. Have a go at this one, a little bit more tricky. Y listos en a, 
B, C. Have a look through your answers and see how you got on. Okay, reading comprehension time. Uh, read the text below. Uh, read out loud as well in Spanish. Practice your pronunciation. Don't worry if anyone's listening and think you're going crazy because actually they won't understand the word you're saying anyway. Um, don't be a passive reader. Really focus on the way you're pronouncing those vowel sounds and think about the meaning of what you're reading as well. Task A, find out how to say these words in Spanish. They're all in the text and they all feature in order. Task B, to answer these questions in English. Task C, translate the text into English for a challenge. Okay, I uh, probably need a good 20, 30 minutes with this. I'll come back to you shortly. Okay, I'm back. Let's see how you got on with that. So, the word located, um, I would say situado. Trees is arboles. Uh, we saw that when we were looking at where we live. A good variety, una buena variedad. Much later that is going to be mucho más tarde i can't even find it now aha got it mucho más tarde okay after después the following day el día siguiente uh, to sleep well dormir bien it closes cierra uh, it's not enough no es suficiente. And what kind of restaurant does the author want to go to? Well, they say they want to go to a Chinese restaurant, un restaurante chino. Um, who should be going to the restaurant? So we've got the author, mum, brother and grandmother. Where is it located? The north of the city. And if you want to be specific, it says next to a very pretty park with many flowers and also trees. What kind of food does it serve? Well, yeah, Chinese, we know that. Um, but also, again, more detail, a good variety of meats, vegetables, and also vegetarian and vegan dishes. What time does the author want to book the table for? Well, they said they'd like a table for four people at six and a quarter, so quarter past six. Um, what time is the concert taking place? A Shakira concert is at 8 and 30. 8 30. Uh, why is that a problem? Well, the problem is that the restaurant opens, abre, at 7 30, and it's not enough time to have dinner. Um, what other time is available? What are the two issues given about this? Well, there's a time after the concert given at 11 30, but the author says, my brother has an exam the following day at 9 in the morning and needs to sleep well. And also, the restaurant closes at 12.30. So the author says, one hour to have dinner is not sufficient. It's not enough. And do you think the meal will go ahead or not? Explain your reason. Well, the author then exclaims, ah, yes, impossible. So it's impossible. So I would assume not. Hopefully talking through those questions and answers with you and going through some of the translations of sentences will be enough to help you check if you have translated the text into English. But if you've got any questions, uh, please do just pop them below in the comments and I'll get back to you. Hurrah, homework task for you. I know you're already at home working, so it probably all feels like homework anyway, but you know, indulge me on this one. So this is all about a problem at a restaurant and it incorporates a lot of the vocab and structures we've seen over the last few lessons. So you have a dialogue between the camarero, the uh, waiter and cliente, the customer. All I need you to do is to read through that and to answer those questions in English. And I'm going to present the answers to you uh, at the next lesson. Good luck. Buena suerte. Muy bien, amigos. Well done, everybody. A uh, quick spot check uh, just to see how you've got on today. So, first question for you is how do you say what time is it in Spanish? Que hora es? What about how we would go about saying it is one o'clock? Es la una. It's two o'clock. Son las dos. Okay, let's do it the other way around. Call out, please. Uh, son las cuatro. Yes, it's four o'clock. Son las seis. It's six o'clock. Son las ocho. It's eight o'clock. Es la una y cinco. 
It's one and five, therefore it's five plus one. Es la una y cuarto. It's a quarter past one. Son las diez. It's ten o'clock. Son las siete y media. It's seven and a half, so therefore it's half past seven. Last one. Uh, son las nueve menos cuarto. Son las nueve menos cuarto. It's nine minus a quarter, so therefore it's quarter to nine. Muy bien hecho. Okay, next time we're going to be learning the future tense. We're going to talk about what we are going to be eating until then. Muy bien y hasta luego. Adios.